Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day here in the farm kitchen on the Stony Ridge. It's Food Fridays and I've got a special treat for you guys. I have never used one of these. This is my maiden voyage, first time ever. I ordered a Harvest Right freeze dryer and I'm freeze drying some goodies. We totally missed out on harvest season for the garden. However, I'm gonna be freeze drying all sorts of stuff in the future on the channel. So. Be sure you subscribe, check it out. We're gonna open this critter up. This is my first time ever trying to freeze dry stuff. I've got some bananas, I've got strawberries, I've got all sorts of stuff. So stick around. These are awesome snacks, healthy snacks for you or for your kids, and a good way to put food up, especially if you have chickens you've got extra eggs and stuff. So come along, we're gonna learn a little bit together about how a freeze dryer works, all right? Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm. If this is your first time to the channel, please jump in, pound the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. Food Fridays is just one of the many segments here on our regenerative farm in North Carolina. So what we've got going here is again, the Harvest Right freeze dryer. And I've had all this stuff in here for 18 and a half hours, guys. And we're just about ready to open her up and see what this does for the very first time. The way this freeze dryer works is you set it up, it freezes whatever it is you put in there, freezes it solid down to like the lowest temperature I saw was close to negative 20. It freezes it and then there's a vacuum pump. This little guy over here sucks all of the air out and thus pulls all the moisture out of whatever it is that you're freeze drying. So you can freeze dry meat, you can freeze dry potatoes, you can freeze dry anything that contains moisture. Now, I think some things freeze dry better than other things. I'm not too sure about the grapes. And I did see that our blueberries have exploded. So that's gonna be kind of cool to see. I tried big chunks, small chunks. I'm trying to figure this thing out with you guys <laughs> present. So really, really cool machine. It's loud, I'll say it's loud. Typically somebody would set up a freeze dryer like this in a pantry in a side bedroom or something like that that you don't use out in your garage in your shop or something like that because it is loud it's as loud as my air conditioning unit here in the house and i live in a small mobile home so it's fairly loud anyway we're gonna get you guys a bird's eye view inside there and you can see i've got bananas strawberries raspberries blueberries and a couple grapes we're trying those out I'm excited to see what they taste like, but I am gonna have a backup cup of water. And I think we're gonna drop some of these back in water and see what they do. So it's gonna be kind of fun. It's educational for all of us. Uh, the principle behind this is being able to store your food for up to 25 years. So no refrigeration required. You don't have to vacuum seal the bags. And we're gonna show you the Mylar bags that you store everything in. This is not, not, not a commercial for Harvest Right, okay guys? This is me, my farm, and what I'm doing. So let's open her up and see what we got in here. 18 and a half hours. The way this works is it tells you when it's done, it starts to beep, and then you have to open this valve over here, which gets rid of the vacuum. You'll hear it hiss. It's starting to hiss. And this is a drain tube right here, okay? I've got it set over here in my pressure canner. Once it stops hissing, this vacuum, you can see the seal around the outside edge right here that vacuum will go away and that seal will release. And you do see a little bit of moisture around the edge of that seal right there. I'm totally new to this. So here's the door. Again, this is a really thick uh, piece of plexiglass right here. Twist the door, open her up. Uh, the temperature in here was about 124 degrees. So we're gonna be a little bit warm. So it freezes, then it draws the moisture out, then it warms back up and draws more moisture out. So first thing we're gonna take a look at is our blueberries. Look at that. See how they exploded? They kind of popped a little bit. Sugary stuff tends to explode and I'm real curious about grapes. I don't think it dehydrated the grapes. I, I, think, uh, I don't think it freeze dried them. Uh, maybe it did, I don't know. 
We're gonna taste all this stuff. We're saving the bananas for last. Well, let's just pull the bananas out. <laughs> so I did whole bananas and I did like banana chips. You see they retain their color. If you put these in a food dehydrator, they don't retain their color and their crispness. And this also helps them retain more of the nutritional value. So in other words, you're not roasting out all the nutritional value. Pretty cool, like little hockey pucks. The whole bananas, let's see. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't wait to take a bite into that whole banana. <laughs> okay, next drawer, I did strawberries. Strawberries tend to do pretty good. They're already kind of fluffy. I did try some earlier this morning. This thing went off at about five o'clock this morning. Smaller pieces are better. Bigger pieces take longer. And we're gonna learn whether we got these big pieces all the way uh, freeze dried. I think I can feel some of them still have a little bit of moisture in them. So smaller pieces is what I'm learning are better. Last but not least, raspberries. And all this stuff could be purchased at your local grocery store. That's what I did. I went to the grocery store and I just bought everything that I needed. So those are raspberries and they are super, super frail. Now you'll see inside the freeze dryer, there's ice. So this thing has to defrost itself. So we'll go ahead, we'll grab the door, bring it in, latch it closed, and then we'll hit defrost. If you need more dry time, you just click more dry time and choose the time. Do you see a lot of ice in there? It's gonna warm up in there and should all drain through this valve into this pot right here. So we'll let that drain for about 10 minutes. We're gonna start tasting some of this food. Fingers crossed, man. We're gonna save what I think might be the nastiest for last, but we're gonna do the strawberries first. And I'm gonna try a big one. I'm gonna do a big one first. And I can tell, I don't think that this guy is totally, my mouth's watering. Let's just try it. Mm, okay. They're not ready. Mm, but, delicious so when you cut your strawberries up if you put them in one of these um, cut them into smaller pieces like this now this mm, is completely freeze-dried it's like space food really cool yeah these need to go in a little bit longer lessons learned here okay now let's get the bananas so we've got whole bananas and banana chips let's try a banana chip and look it retained all of its color, its shape, everything. It's the consistency of a cereal marshmallow. That is delicious. I think the bananas were a little green. <laughs> um, now, this is gonna be the one. This is the one that tells the tale. I'm a little nervous about this. Oh. It's good. It's really freeze dried. It's really dry. I need some water. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, much needed water. <laughs> awesome. Let's check out the raspberries. So these are raspberries just from the store. Um, great old big raspberries. These turned out lighter and fluffier than anything else. Mm, they're just like powder. And they're a little sour. <laughs> they're a little bit sour, but look, check it out. They're, they're just powdery, so really powdery. That's it. Um, we'll try another one here. Mmm, a little bitter. Woo, woo. Um, but awesome, check it out. Just really light and fluffy. Now let's get the blueberries. So blueberries did not do what I thought they would do. They all popped, they all busted. Last thing we're gonna try is the grape. We're gonna see if the grape thing worked. I'm not sure that it did. The blueberries are kind of stuck in here. So let's see what a blueberry tastes like. Awesome. Mm. Drop that in a bowl of cereal. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Very good. Did a grape work? Did it work? No, not at all. They didn't freeze dry. Evidently the skin is too tough on a grape for it to freeze dry. I've got a lot of learning to do on this critter. Um, we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you how they're sealed up in mylar bags. So if you wanna keep this stuff, you wanna preserve it, 
indefinitely pretty much for 25 years. You put them in these Mylar bags and you can store them in buckets or whatever. So you can build your own prepper stash and you can do meats, you can do macaroni and cheese, you can do scrambled eggs, you can do omelets, you can do all kinds of stuff. So let's go over here and we'll show you how we seal off the bags. But before we seal off a bag, let's drop one of these in water and see what it does. It's absorbing water pretty quickly. Let's see here. Mm. Oh, don't recommend the raspberries, man. <laughs> They're way too bitter, way, way too bitter. Uh, I think this is when you go to a farm and you pick like a five gallon bucket of, uh, of uh, apples or strawberries or blueberries that's where it's at that's where this thing really stands out or you get an awesome deal on a bunch of bananas that are going rotten which are the most tasty bananas really so you can go to your local grocery store a lot of times they'll have them really marked down awesome awesome stuff so let's seal it up that's what it does when you dip it back in water um i'm told when you do a steak you can freeze dry a steak and put it put water back in it and it just plumps right back up and you can eat it. So you can theoretically have a 25 year old steak. Now that's aged beef. Let's get over here and check out the sealer. So there's several things you're gonna need. These are called Mylar bags. These are the extra large Harvest Right Mylar bags. These are oxygen absorbers, okay? They're little oxygen absorbing tablets. And this is what they look like once they've come out of the box. And this is the bag, the Mylar bag. So very, very cool. I think the bag is designed to protect from UV, so that's why it's all silver. And then this is the sealer right here. If you do blueberries, be prepared. You're gonna have to scrape them. No other YouTube videos show folks putting these in the bags <laughs> because it's such a pain in the butt, I guess. Scoop them up, put them in our Mylar bag. That's what it turned out like in the inside. Isn't that interesting? So here's the Harvest Right bag. You'd label it whatever it is and whatever the date is. And then this is the bag sealer. We'll go ahead and get it pre-warmed here. Little dial right there, put it to the max setting. Put it on number three for resealing the uh, oxygen tablet bag. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get an oxygen tab out of here. That goes in our Mylar bag. And then we'll go ahead and turn this to three and we'll reseal. Yeah, so that's all resealed. Very, very quick. Shake her down. There is a little tear tab right here. So we'll put it right above the little tear tab. Sit it down on there. Seal it. Take it back off. Seal it again. They say double seal it. You wanna squish as much air as possible out of here if you can, but it really doesn't matter. Air doesn't matter because you have the oxygen absorber in there. So we're all sealed up, good to go for 25 years. So it works, everything works just like it should. So from big fat plump ripe juicy strawberries to big fat plump ripe totally devoid of water strawberries. These are blueberries, the blueberries did stick to the pan. As I learn more, I will show you guys more. We're getting ready to go pick up 2,000 pounds of number two apples. So I'll be doing a lot of apples and stuff in here, preserving stuff, putting it back so that if we were to get in a food emergency, I would have stuff prepared. Now you can go and you can order and you can buy these prepper meals or you can buy these camping meals or you can make one on your own in that Harvest Right freeze dryer. So thanks a lot guys. Please pound that like button. Expect to see more of this thing on the channel as I learn a little bit more about how to prepare meals freeze dry them and have them set aside for camping or for later or for whatever it is you want to do. If you want to be a prepper, that is the ultimate prepper tool. Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. I'll post a link down in the video description and I'll pin a comment with a link to this critter uh, down there below. So if you guys want to check one out, we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge. Take one. Woo, those lights are bright. Ah, it's so bright in here. Back that thing up. Girl, you looks bright once you back that thing up. There we go. I just made a huge mess. I'm gonna get the vacuum. Get it, Fred. There you go, little buddy. Vacuum it up. The mess is right here. Just so you know, the mess is right here. This is where I need you to go. That's where the mess is. This is where the mess is. Right here, you don't need to turn around. You just need to get the mess up. Automatic vacuum cleaner is nuts. <laughs>